Japanese persimmon. It is in season right now and it is so good so I'm going to show you how to enjoy it with your favorite dango. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you can try it out. To make dango, I'm going to use shiratamako. Dry ingredients are usually available overseas so I hope you can find it. If you remember, last time I used tofu but this time I'm going to use water. Put all the ingredients in a bowl and knead until smooth. Adjust the texture and knead until as soft as your earlobe. Now divide the dough into 8 small pieces. Roll into bowls then press the center. In this way dango cook evenly and faster. Ok now let's make matcha green tea dango. I know you like matcha sweets. You can make the same as the white dango but sift the matcha powder before mixing. When the dango are ready, bring a large pot of water to a boil. Gently drop the dango. After a few minutes, dango will float to the surface. Then boil for another 1-2 minutes. Transfer into cold water. Leave for a minute. Then drain well. If you are not eating them all, you can store the dango in the freezer. Make sure they don't stick to each other. Now cut kaki Japanese persimmon into bite-sized pieces. I bought seedless one. Place the kaki and dango in a dish. Sprinkle with kinako, finely chopped nuts were really good too. Then pour some kuromitsu. And now it's done! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. シラタマは昨日大量に作ってそれを冷凍して自然解凍しました。そうすると冷たくてこうフルーツと合わせて食べるとすっごく美味しいです。いただきます。うん、柿もクロミンスとキナコがすごく合います。柿がやばいぐら